exciting for all the fans of Muay Thai. There's gonna be a technical fight. Well, Derby's a technical fighter, so let's see how he... Oh, nice opening leg kick. Battle between a 33 year old and a 22 year old. 10 year gap, or was it 11? 11 year gap between the two. Let's see how the stamina plays out. Stamina versus experience. Although they both have almost similar fight records or similar fight experience with 27 wins. Oh. Nice kicks. Both are metal. Derby looking more, oh nice, nice, le nice leg kick, nice kick to the head. You know, Derby Mac, looking more light on his feet. Mac, this looks like uh, a battle between a coach and a student. You know what I okay, mean? Yeah, 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 exactly. You can it see. Does. Let's see. It looks like also speed versus power. You know, Venus is, is quite, oh, he's 5'2", while Derby is 5'7". I mean, Muay Thai, I don't, does height matter as much? Unlike in boxing. Well, kind of, because again, if, if you know how to use it right. Our referee right now, Jervy Chionko wearing the black trunks, while uh, Fernando Venus wearing the red. These guys are fighting for the WBC Super Flyweight National Belt. They will be the first, if they get it, they are the first to actually hold the WBC belt in the Philippines. Here's the ultimate Muay Thai challenge. Derby's the type of fighter that knows how to minimize or limit his damage by moving around. And, you know, some people call it running, some people call it evading, but that's his style of fighting. And then, for some reason, and, and that's why, he, you know, he brings home a lot of gold medals. But again, let's see. Derby's working on the leg. You see, Venus is like a slugger. You know, he's throwing bombs. If Kirby gets caught with one of these, it could be over. And again, this is five rounds in three minutes. So. Derby Chonko looking at his corner for instructions right there for two seconds. While uh, Fernando Venus is looking to knock him out. Yeah, that's it's as simple it. as that. He's looking for that one shot, done. Jervy isn't more of the knockout type of guy, he's more of the points kind of guy. You see? Like he's he score points as opposed to knocking you out. So again, let's see. Leg kick. If he can weather, you know. Come, come, lean, man. Come, lean. There you go, come that's the end of round well. number one, Mac. That was, that was pretty quick. Process, right? Yeah, that was pretty yeah quick. because you know we're picking up from mass fight. Yeah. Mass fight was was an internal fight. Yeah. This one is we go back to our three minute rules, a body shot there by Venus. Overhead. Yeah. And you can see the body shot uh, making a mark on Derby while he's hitting in the corner. It's red. And look at that, jab straight, a lunging jab. That kind of stunt jerky there with that shot. Here you go, so you can see the difference. A 5 2 versus a 5 7, both the same weight class. The experience alone, 10 year age gap, if I'm not mistaken. There is an age gap that we can see here. Significant age gap, like a decade, more than a decade. Referee 22, Jervy Tionko, and uh, 33, Fernando Venus. We go to round number two, ladies and gentlemen. This is the ultimate Muay Thai challenge. Both of these guys are fighting for the WBC Super Flyweight National Champion. And it's a belt, scheduled for five rounds. We still got, of course, a little later on. So we got more exciting fights in store for everybody. You see uh, some redness on Derby's uh, left leg, lead leg. Again, Derby's strikes don't seem to be doing anything to Venom, to Venus, because he's just walking them through. He's just walking through them. 
That could, that could actually play a factor in experience, if you ask me, Max. Going straight forward. Jeremy also seen winded already. Yeah, it seems like Venus is not getting phased by any of these shots. Venus is not fading. And he keeps pushing forward. It looks like Jeremy's setting up a head kick. I can see it. He's on his back foot, setting it up, putting the weight there, looking for that perfect shot. That's what yep. he's waiting for. Just the timing. He's trying to time it. But like I said, he's, he's, he's more of the point kind of guy rather than a knockout guy. But again, I mean, if there's an opening, then go for it. But you can tell by the strikes, he's basically just kind of tapping, tapping. Maybe he's like setting something up. Who knows? Remember, Max, this is scheduled for five rounds. Jervy is pretty much, I think, looking pacing. at it, pacing it. Right. Doesn't want to go too hard. Doesn't want to go too much. And I'll take him apart. He is a little older than me. Well, actually, 11 year older than me. Yeah. And that could actually play a factor. True, but on true. the other hand, Fernando Venus, why am I going to wait that long? I can just knock you out now, and I can party later. <laughs> yeah. It's simple as that. Now, on the clinch game, on the other hand, Mac, nice knee there by Venus. Yeah, a nice job defending the clinch by uh, placing the forearm by the chin. That's a classic uh, way to defend the clinch. Because it's know, annoying. You know, in a clinch game, is there the height difference also could play a factor, right? Yes, it can. Because if you know how to, you know, the, the stockier fighter will have a lower center of gravity, thus being able to, to, to you know, ta take the weight out from under you and throw you. But again, for the taller competitor, he could throw more devastating knees. That's the end of round number two, ladies and gentlemen. Mac, how do you find round number two? I'd call round number two pretty even. Again, we'll see. Looks like uh, Jerby's, uh, you know, controlling the pace. Um, not, not falling into nice kick there by Venus. That's not something that you normally throw in Muay Thai. The side kick that was different. Yeah, well, normally it's a front kick, and then sometimes you'd go front kick, but to get more extension, you'd kind of turn into a side kick. Before we variety. move on with the next right. round, we'd like to acknowledge the presence of a Games and Amusement Board Commissioner, Edward Trinidad. We go to our second out, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, we're scheduled for five rounds. We do have our rules here at the Ultimate Muay Thai Challenge. As we are going through, Jervy looks like he's breathing heavy. Venus looks like, you know, he's just ready to go. He just woke up. That's what it is. That's the experience indeed playing a factor. Our rules for this bout, once again, for those who are watching, we are following the Muay Thai rules, are following the 10-point must system of boxing. Each round is scored according to how accurate and powerful a fighter delivers his or her strikes using fists, feet, knees, elbows. The judges who are all certified a Muay Thai trainers and practitioners will be awarded higher points to the fighter who shows better style of aggressive attacks. Once Just again, like what we saw there. What we are watching here is the championship fights. The fight that is scheduled for five three-minute rounds. So Talk about aggressiveness, Rico. You see a lot of aggressiveness from uh, Venus here. Got him, Venus. Looking uh, to finish. Yeah. Everything he throws is with bad intentions, you know, intention to knock you out. He's not taking it lightly. Even these body shots tied up, you know. Could Jervy be playing the cat and mouse game of try to chase me, try to throw, I'm going to block, trying to do a, a rope-a-dope style until our, our experienced fighter gets tired and then he'll take him apart. But he's got to do it wisely because 
it looks like Venus is not tiring, and he just keeps throwing him. And you know, it Venus is like a shorter fighter, so he, could, he might have not had any trouble weight cutting. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Unlike uh, Jeremy, on the other hand, it's a taller fighter, taller by five inches. Go, go. These fighters are meeting at a weight class. Of 115 pounds. If you're 5'7", you're cutting at 115. Yeah, that's kind of... That could be brutal. It can be. Nice kick there by Jervy. Bouncing off the ropes. He kind of used the momentum of the ropes there to throw some torque into that. Gets hit now with an overhand. Again, it's Southpaw versus Orthodox. 1-2 by Jervy. That is Jeremy Tionko. Body Venus, shot body by shot. Venus. No avail. Tries to throw a flying knee there. That's the first flying knee we've seen tonight. Nice body kick by Venus. Jervy has to set those up. And be, well, both of them have to set up their shots better. Because it seems like both of them are checking all their uh, strikes, uh, everything they're throwing. You know, Mac, when it comes to the muscle development of these fighters, like Venus, could that play a factor in the later round that you're carrying more muscle mass that you're going to tire out? It could, because muscles need oxygen, you know, you're right. Here we go, third round. And that's why you see, like, these Muay Thai fighters, you don't see much muscle mass in Muay Thai fighters. You should pack. If you look at our highlights of the previous round, ladies and gentlemen, they are fighting for a belt. That elbow by Jervy, getting in there. No avail on Venus in that one, makes Jervy smile. Now the clinch there, doing the body shots by Venus. Just a little bit, that didn't look like it hurt very much. Yeah, but still, get, getting caught by the temple, you know, by the side of the head, can actually cause your neck the kind of tilt which causes some concussion, so we have to be careful with that. There we go, the coach sticking at him. Jervy, though, breathing with his mouth open. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is scheduled for five rounds. The previous one that we've come to witness at the Ultimate Muay Thai Challenge was three. Venus walking first. to the center of the ring, eager to start the next round. That could play a mental factor. You know, whatever you throw, kid, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Is it just now that they started playing the music? Or what's it's, been, it's been playing ever since, just in the background. Of course, that is the traditional Muay Thai music. You're witnessing uh, these guys fighting for WBC Super Flyweight National Belt. You're watching uh, Jervy Tionko in the black trunks against Fernando Venus here at the Metro Tent for the Ultimate Muay Thai Challenge. The first belt that we are fighting for goes for a sweep, Mac. How do you find that? Is that a good strategy? That was, what, a sweep? Right uh, there. Not by, that wasn't a good strategy by Jervy. On the receiving end, it's never a good strategy, right? Yeah, getting slammed to the canvas like that. You could land on your arm. If you don't know how to fall, you could break, you could, you could injure yourself. Again, Venus just nice keeps pushing. Nice elbow there by Jervy. Keeps pushing forward. That's we cost her a break. Again, Venus still chasing down Jervy. Jervy moving around the ring. And it's rare for someone to actually throw a lead elbow. You know, in yeah. Muay Thai, usually set that up and you throw the elbow inside. But to throw the lead elbow, could that, have you seen a knockout being thrown by that? Oh, yes, I have indeed, because it's unexpected. But sometimes it's set up with either a keep, where you fake the keep, and then go for the lead elbow. But again, you have to set it up. You have to get your guy to react. So you have to make sure that those first two strikes hit. You have to commit to those. So when you do fake, opponent bites, then you can throw the lead elbow, because it's unexpected. Every action equals a reaction, as they say. That's true. And you ought to be able to commit first and set it up. Body shot there by Venus. That seemed to have triggered Jervy. Jervy with an intense face now. 
Nice clinch by Jervy. Elbow by Jervy. Calls for a break by the referee. Push kick by Jervy. Push kick again. Tries to set up the elbow by Jervy. That is Jervy Dionco in the black trunks. Fernando Venus stalking. Fernando Venus making the ring small. But you know, Mac, I've noticed he's not cutting oh, the ring. That nice was a good body, body shot. shot. Seems to have got him in the legs. Here we go. Looks like that body shot might have hurt him. Another body shot. Looks like he's down. Body shot. He's good. All right, here we go. But is it enough? Can he recover? Saved, Saved by, by the, the bell. bell. Saved by the bell, ladies and gentlemen. Here. If Jervy was throwing the prayer, his prayer has been answered. Take another look at that body shot, Rico. Here Saved it is. Saved by Boom. the bell. And, and that's what got him. That's the first one. And here's the second one. Right there, he wound, he winded up. Bang! He winded up. Venus I really winded up. I have a feeling Venus was a former boxer. I do, yeah. I got a feeling he was a former boxer. But that body shot came from way back there. Jervy, I think, just reacted out of instinct because the first one stung him a lot. So yeah. instead of slipping it out, we're getting out of the way, he just tried to block it. Yeah. But it was looping. It was looping. It went around the corner and met him at the end of the block. It got through, Rico, it got through. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to the fifth and final round of what has been an interesting match. Looks like Jervy's still feeling the effects. Look at his body, nice and red, of the previous round. Here we go. Will Venus capitalize on that body shot? Will he keep Will he keep targeting that? The Venus fly trap. Will Jervy be aware? Will Jervy counter? Looks like Jervy is on defense mode right now. Jervy is protecting that side of the body. He gets swept to the ground. Once again, for us watching, you are witnessing Ultimate Muay Thai Challenge. These two fighters are fighting for the WBC Super Flyweight National Belt. A battle between Jervy Chioko, who is wearing the black trunks, against Fernando Venus, wearing the red. Fifth final round. Once again, the same formula he's gunning for. Fernando Venus he's trying targeting to finish. That. Look, and his body's trying open. To finish his body's right open. Right now. Mac, what are you gonna do in this He's situation? Trying to take off his head. Me? Why is Jervy not flinching? He should flinch. Why is Jervy not flinching? Takes a knee. Jervy now drops. Has to take a count. Again, he still could be recovering from those earlier body shots. It takes a while. It doesn't take 30 seconds to recover from that. Look how red his body is. Nice shot by Fernando Venus. Nice shot to the head. The question is, could Jervy be playing it looks like Okay, and looks like his corner is waving it off. You see some blood Not dripping. yet. Here we go. On the count. Jervy on the 10. Here we go. But he has a cut. Look at Fernando Venus' face, Mac. Yep, yep he's Fernando got a cut. Fernando has a cut. So there could be some method to madness to what's happening to this. Could Jervy be playing possum? I think, oh. Could Jervy be playing possum to try to get that shot? I His think counter he seems to be working yeah, because but Fernando Venus has a cut. Let us see. Jervy has to dig deep. This is the fifth and final round. Fernando just jabbing now, taking a little body shots. You see blood dripping down from the, from the, from the left eye of Venus. From the right eye, I mean, from 
Jervis right now in survival mode. Venus smells blood. Working the body. Once again, gets a count. His hand touched the floor. That is done. It is over. Results are in. Due to technical knockout at 2 minutes 53 seconds on the fifth round, our winner is none other.